Welcome back. So, we're back in the woods. This Russian bear market contacted me and said, would I like a, a tent and stove set up, show you guys and, you know, experience it. And they look pretty amazing, pretty robust bits of kit. Um, so I've got the tent, the stove, the floor. Um, so yes, uh, don't know what I'm doing. So I'm gonna take it step by step and get set up. Okay, so this here is the tent and stove. But I need this first, which is like a ground sheet. Now the good thing about this ground sheet is it's going to show me the size of the tent because I haven't really got it in my mind what kind of footprint it has. Um, it's all camo, this setup. It's kind of a hunting, fishing setup, really. I mean, like I said, it's from Russia. It's, it's robust. It's for Siberia. It's going to be warm. This is free layer, this floor. It feels comfy. It's a big boy. It's got to be about three meters. I'll have to look at the specs later. It'll be hard for you to see, but the mechanism of this is kind of like that of an umbrella. You might see there. So this is going to be pretty interesting. Okay, just peg it out. Well, these are the pegs that are in the bag. This one is a bit like rebar, and this one's got like a screw tip on it. I've just put the guys on and you've got these heavy duty tensioners in the pack. I nearly missed them. You have to install yourself. But, oh, yeah. Right, so this is that umbrella mechanism that you open it up with. You're supposed to take this out and then screw this in. And there we go. We've got somewhere to hang stuff off now. So this should be a door, which again has poles in it. And it's kind of sprung. So, oh, there we go. It meets them contours of the actual uh, tent. So the tent itself is dual skinned and you have a buck net and a, another door there. Oh. So free. <laughs> and then you've got this one as well. Which has Velcro on it. Right, so you've got a nice kind of silicone kind of handle on here. And the door tucks in to this elasticated bit top and bottom there you go you can roll these up or use them as well if it's very very cold or just pull it to if you're in and out to uh, keep the heat in I also have here this thick um, outer skin I think it is if I remember rightly um, which I'm not going to need I'm not going to use that today Now 
And you can see here you've got this heat protection all the way up the side of the tent where the stove goes, all the way to the stove jack, which has metal rings. And you can see the uh, two layers and the outer flap. This thing is built. Every part of this is just so hard wearing. You got all this, anything that comes in contact or near the flue, the back of the panel there is all kind of heat proofed. It all tucks in nicely. And there you can see that double layer on the different skins. Right, here we have the tent stove. Needless to say, I'm only parked about 100 yards away, get right into the woods today. And this came in a crate, <laughs> it came very well packaged. Uh, so we've got a ground sheet thing for it here. Some gloves, a couple of bits. And this is the medium, it's a beast. Oh. Now you've got these kind of heat shields on here. I think that's what they are. They might also be to protect the glass. And uh, you just have some thumb screws, some wing nuts to uh, hold them in place. Got a heat shield on the back, loads of cooking surface which is good because all my cooking is going to be on this for the next two nights. Yeah, it's supposed to be for two people and you could. Um, in a certain configuration of the beds, um, but for one and a chair, and I've got a table with me. I don't. And check these out. They're in with the uh, tent stuff. Velcro up. And you got loads of pockets. So I'm assuming they go on some flaps that are on the uh, walls. Very handy. So they just Velcro on the top here, and then there's some Velcro tabs on the back. And you've got your pocket storage as well as these pockets which are on literally every wall other than the door ones and the stove one. Loads of storage. Now I've got to give credit where credit is due. This is a remarkable tent. I've never seen anything like it. The double walls, the triple doors, the triple layered floor, all the hanging points and velcro points and pockets, the way it goes up. Um, the fact that it's not super heavy like a big thick canvas one, it's it's amazing. That door, <laughs> have you ever seen anything like that? A door on a tent like that. It's amazing. I love it. Now, it's not cheap, obviously, but, you know, there's other expensive tents, Hillybergs or whatever, which are near the price of this, that are just a tent. They may be well made, but they're not on this level. I know they're completely different categories. This is probably for ice fishing and hunting, like a base camp. But when you think about the price in terms of that, not too bad. Yeah, it's a hard wearing tent. Check it out, my pole light fits pretty perfectly. So that, that'll be nice. Well, I've got the table up, but yeah, I've got this little walk area. This door's obviously going to be closed off. I've just got it open for light at the moment. A little bit of air, but yeah, it's looking cosy. <laughs> Love it. And some more kindling.
as soon as the sun was going down, dropping below the horizon there, temperature plummeted. So I got this lit just around then. God, it warms up quick. <laughs> so well insulated. I got the door behind the camera open, both for a tiny bit of light that's still coming through. And yeah, I'm just trying to get used to it really. I'm playing around with the different woods and the um, adapter on the front. It was getting very hot at one point, it was getting red at the back. I think it's going to be very good for cooking because that's where all the exhaust kind of comes around on that baffle. I don't normally gush over a tent but I really like this. <laughs> I kind of didn't want to because finding room to store this setup and my bell tent is going to be difficult. But uh, they both have their attributes but this is just amazed me. There's so much I've not shown you about it as well yet. But yeah, I'm, I'm kind of loving it. <laughs> I think it's time for a hot drink. Well, it's time for a nice cold beer that's been outside. <laughs> mm. oh. right, gonna go on with some potatoes. Just gonna boil them slightly before I fry them off with some steak. Brand new billy cam. Time to start frying my potatoes. Some nice heat on there now. And it's steak time. And we've got a nice big ribeye. Nice bit of butter. Oh, looking good. And there we go. Ribeye steak, asparagus and fried potatoes. Nice pink steak. Mm. and some crispy potatoes very crispy Now that was a comfortable night, really cosy in here all night. This stove I put one of them um, compressed fire log things in and a piece of oak on top of you know the smouldering bits that were in there. Went all night, just closed it down and yeah it was warm all night. I had the um, back door just open a touch on the top just for a bit of airflow. Yeah lovely. Uh, woke up a few times because of the showers and um, bit of a rain test I guess. <laughs> Got no condensation, uh, no ingress of water, 
Everything's good. Must be time for breakfast. Bit of broken yolk. There's so much space in here without the camp furniture. <laughs> I'll show you on a cutaway with the action camera because it's got a wider lens. I really could do with one for this camera. The bags of space for you to decide what to do with. After setting up the stove, I found this little vent just behind where the stove sits. And it's got a heat proof backing and a Velcro tab. And uh, that'll bring you nice fresh air in with the stove and then you can vent it out a window if you want to. This is of course the inside of that vent and that just rolls down, velcro's in place. One thing I've not shown is these half moon windows, they're on the uh, other sides from the doors and you've got this inner side which you can roll up. You then got, this is a mesh with like a woodland camo um, pattern on. You've got your outer there, but then you've got this kind of PVC clear window, and the outer outer, which uh, velcros on out there and goes underneath a flap. So how's that for quality? <laughs> you've got all your options, just some sort of mosquito netting or a proper window, or just opening it up to vent some air in. What is that? There's one, two, three, four, five layers on that window. And not to forget on the outside of the windows, you've also got these spreader bars as well, so it's another option for venting. And they're them flaps all the way around. The only other thing I wanted to mention now, because this isn't really a review, I'm just kind of showing you the tent, is you may have noticed there's a zip all the way around the inner kind of floor and wall area here. So just like with the bell tent that I have, you can take it all the way off. And I'll have to get a shot of it when I take down. But once you pull back an area of that um, sort of carpet, you've got um, further holes which you can unzip in the three layered floor underneath this, the uh, footprint. And I'm guessing that's for uh, doing your um, ice fishing. Now, like I said, I kind of got this through and I took it straight out. I was pretty excited to get out in it. Uh, so I've not read up everything that I probably should have on it, but uh, I will do before I review this thing. I'm on my last few bits here to pack away and lug back to the truck. So I'd like to say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you are interested in one of these tents, there's links below. Um, yeah, loved it. Great camp. See you next time.